All right, beginning a new chapter, we're going to talk about the Industrial Gilded Age. Okay, that's the name of the chapter. Uh, industrial, if you look at the root word, it's industry, which means manufacturing. Okay, you need to remember that term, it's important. Okay, and Gilded Age, we're going to get to that for number three here. Okay, number one, oh, by the way, a lot of these are going to be inventors that help to spark industry in the United States. A lot of these definitions are inventors. Samuel F. B. Morris, okay, inventor of the telegraph machine, okay? So um, Samuel F. B. Morris invents this thing called Morse code, okay? Now a telegraph machine is, um, it basically creates electric signals. It's a constant electric signal, <coughs> and it acts like a, a light switch. When you tap down on it, it breaks the signal and that is printed out on a piece of paper, or you can listen to it and read it, and it's a series of dots and dashes. The Morse code and the telegraph were the first way that we could actually communicate over vast distances uh, throughout the world instantly, okay? As fast as electricity could travel. So this is invented in 1830 by Samuel F. Morse, and it completely changes business and how fast we can do business, okay? And safety as well. Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, which I'm sure you all know what that is. Uh, anyway, you need to memorize those too. Now, the reason for the word Gilded Age, okay? So the term Gilded Age was coined by a guy named Samuel Clemens. You probably know him as Mark Twain, okay? He's the one that did Huckleberry Finn and a couple of other well-known novels, okay? So it says the aspect of industrialization, which means, you know, business and manufacturing, that was outwardly showy, but inwardly corrupt. Okay. The term gilded means that you're going to take something that's a common substance and you're going to coat it with a thin layer of gold. The point being that it looks like gold, but it's not really gold. Okay. So in other words, it's showy on the outside and inwardly corrupt. It's not as good as the, the outside. In America during the Gilded Age, what was going on is that the captains of industry, the rich businessmen, okay, we are also going to call them robber barons, the millionaires and the billionaires of America, were living like kings, while the people that worked for them lived like dogs, okay? Uh, America was growing, but we had a bunch of problems. That's why it's inwardly corrupt. All the government politicians basically were corrupt. And they were taking kickbacks and payola and all these things, okay? So America looked amazing on the outside. It looked like the land of opportunity. But on the inside, it's rotten to the core. And that's what the Gilded Age name is for. Christopher Scholes invented the typewriter. One of the biggest things that caused uh, production to go downhill was handwriting, okay? Uh, you know, if you get this big long list of things that a company's ordering, but you can't read the list because of handwriting, well, that's a problem, okay? The typewriter stopped all that. Now you can have clearly written documents that anybody who knows how to read can read. That's Christopher Scholes, okay? This one invention allowed women to really get a lot of jobs, okay? This is where women really start coming into the workforce. Edwin Drake. Okay, we owe a lot of our modern society to Mr. Edwin Drake. He is the first individual to successfully drill for oil. He created the oil well, okay? Uh, formerly, he was a water well guy, and he adapted his technology for water wells and created new technology to be able to get deep enough to get the oil out of the ground. And this sparks an entirely new industry, the oil industry in the United States, which Basically, from that point on, we have kerosene lanterns uh, when the, the automobile is invented and made widespread by Henry Ford. Well, Henry Ford didn't invent it. He just made it widespread. Um, then the demand for oil skyrocketed because of Edwin Drake's work. 